I want to bring in America's accountant, Dan Geltrude, to discuss this further. Dan, uh, we've had you on a few times to discuss this, this uh, sort of accounting crisis in the U.S. We already have a shortage of accountants, and more students uh, are starting to give up on their CPA dreams. Why is that? Well, there's a number of factors at play here. Addison, but there's no question in my mind that the additional 30 credits that uh, future CPAs need to take is a problem. And let me tell you exactly why. In order to become a CPA, you need to obviously pass the uniform CPA exam. Then, as far as what you need educationally, you need an accounting degree, and you have to have a total of 150 credit hours. Here's the rub. You can go and get your accounting degree at 120 credit hours, like I did many years ago. Then the additional 30 credits, they don't have to be in anything specific. So essentially, it's 30 empty credit hours. Now, students certainly can go for a master's degree or take anything they would like to in terms of enhancing their education. But the rule, as it stands right now, the 30 credits could be in anything. So think basket weaving, think yoga, think whatever you want. That's what you need to become a CPA. It makes no sense. And as a result, many students would say, hey, no thank you to that fifth year of empty credits. Yeah, and how much extra is that? Is that costing uh, again in America to take all of those extra credits? I mean, that's that's got to be a, a pretty big bill that adds up. It really is. Look, if you're looking at how much an extra year of college costs, it, it, depending on whether it's a state university, private, you're commuting, you're living on campus, but either way, it could be anywhere from tw twenty to 50,000 or maybe more. So it ends up ultimately costing, I believe the number is 2 billion plus per year. So what advice do you give uh, potential wannabe CPAs? It's still a great profession, Addison. There's no question about it. And when money is an issue, and, and it is for so many of our young people, and we certainly don't want to see them taking out additional debt, what I tell them is, is get your 120 credit hours with your accounting degree. Then those remaining 30 credit hours, get them as cheaply as you can. Take courses online, community colleges, whatever it takes so that the credits are coming from an accredited um, college, university, whatever the case, just do it as cheaply as you possibly can to get to that 150. Unless, like Minnesota, there's a potential rule change where it could be a rollback to the 120 credit hours and the difference is made up with experience. And there's no substitute for on-the-job experience, Addison. Yeah, I think, uh, I think accountants will always be uh, in demand to, to one extent or another. As, as the saying goes, there are, uh, the only things certain in life are, are life itself, death, and taxes. So they'll, they'll be around for a while. Dan Geltrude, America's accountant, always great to see you. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Addison.